All right, so we're about to start installing this backsplash. It goes from here. We have a window in the way, corner there, and it goes up to this end here. Tile is 12 by four inches, and the pattern is brick pattern. As you can see here, this area here is gonna be half a tile, and that's also half a tile. So when I say I'm gonna start with a full tile, it means full tile here, and then the next row is half a tile full half again so that's starting with full before i put the first tile on the wall i want to know what kind of pieces am i going to have everywhere am i going to have small cuts here or against the window or against that or in the corner or there that the customer may not want to have so then i have to bring that up the homeowner chose to have a metal trim this is jolly schluter uh, not this one this is just a sample i had in my truck but they chose a, a chrome so this covers the end of the tile so you don't see the unfinished part of it. So there's going to be two pieces of jolly trim, the metal trim here, chrome, not the white. And here, normally you'd have one, two, three, four, five pieces of metal trim. But in this case, the homeowner wants to buy a, uh, a one piece marble or something that goes here, you know, and overlaps. So we're not going to have a metal trim on this edge. We're just going to have one, two there and one, two here. And when we drop that, there's no need for metal trim there because the marble thing overlaps the tile. Does it matter to have full tile here, starting this way? If you choose that, I have no control over what pieces I'm gonna have against the window here. You know, what if you start with full here and then you have a piece that's a quarter of an inch there? And then also I have no control over what's here because you started with the full here, so whatever the pattern gives me, you know, that's where I have to cut. Also, I have no control over what's in the corner. And then when we reach the corner, whatever pieces I'm gonna have there, ideally I wanna continue them on the other side of the wall. If a full tile is 12 inches, right? And if I reach the corner there and I have three inches, that means the leftover is nine inches because three plus nine is 12. And then if I do that and continue the pattern, then when I reach here, again, I have no control over what kind of piece I'm gonna have here. So then what matters to you? Does it matter here to start with full? Does it matter to here to be nice? Oh wait, you have two sides for the window. So does it matter to have equal pieces here and here? Or does it matter just not to have very small pieces? If you say, well, I don't want very small pieces, then guess what? If I start from here with full, there's gonna be like a quarter of an inch piece, like this very, very small right there on the window and the same here actually. So then you say, okay, let's not start with a full piece there. Start, start with a full piece there. If we do that, we get up here, we have two and a half inch piece here, and we're gonna have four inches here. So then you say, oh, okay, they're not that small, but they're not even. So when it's done, somebody may say, well, why didn't you go for equal pieces on the sides of the window? Because they look like uneven, you know? Okay, then the choice is to center the tile in the middle, right? Start from here and go that way, start from here and go that way, and then you're sure that whatever pieces you get here, you also get here, okay? In this case, with this tile, if you do that, you still end up with very small pieces here. They're gonna be equal, but very, very small. Like if, if this is the side of the window, right? This, this piece of tile here is gonna be very small, like that. The next one up, this one, it's more than half a tile. The next one up is gonna be again very small here. Okay, so starting with full there, it's not good. Small pieces on the sides of the window. Starting with full piece here, not good because it's gonna be uneven, like two and a half inch piece, four and a half inch piece. Centering the layout in the middle of the window is still not good because you still have tiny pieces on the sides of the window. So then how do you install the tile? To avoid small pieces, to avoid uneven pieces of tile on the sides of the window. And the solution is to still center it, but adjust, because this is almost uh, 47 inches from here to here. The piece of tile and the little grout is 12 inches. So four pieces of tile, it's about 48 inches. The window is a bit smaller than 47. So we're gonna have a grout line here in the middle, but from this one piece of tile from here and this piece of tile from here, the solution is to cut from the end of them. So it's not gonna be 12 inches long, it's gonna be 11 and three quarters or 11 and a half, something like that. Just cut a bit from, from these two pieces, make them equal to each other, but smaller than a full piece of tile, of course. The other two pieces of tile here are gonna be 12 inches, 12 inches, and these two here are gonna be just cut a little bit. So then I can fit four pieces of tile from that line to this line. So if I do that, that means from this line here, I can continue with full pieces. From this, I can continue with full pieces. That means I have avoided small pieces on the sides of the window. But guess what? If you do that, you have no control over what piece you're gonna end up with there. In this case, I measured and we're gonna end up with full half, full half, something like that. Maybe it's gonna be like one eighth of an inch inside that line, but we can end with full and half. If we increase it just a bit over, then we have a tiny sliver next to the full tile. We don't want that. So as long as I make sure that the metal trim that I'm gonna put here 
uh, around the window, the jolly from Schroeder. If I put that here and there, and I can fit a certain number of full tile and half, then it's perfect. And that cover plate stays on the tile and doesn't overlap outside, which I made sure because this line, this line here is just a bit outside of that cover. So that's good. Now I'm not gonna start from here. I'm gonna start from here because here I have a bit of a play, like one eighth of an inch or so, but here I want the metal piece and the tile to be on the, on the window uh, line here, okay? So full and half from here will give us full and half there. If we do the same here, start with full from here and go that way, when we end up at the very corner, we don't have any control over what piece is gonna be there, but I did a math, and if I start with full here, that's gonna be three inches. One of them is three inches, above it is nine inches, and then again, three inches is nine inches. So the piece that's gonna be three inches, it's small, but not small enough to be a deal breaker compared to the advantages we get uh, if we start here with full. So the piece that's three inches, the leftover from that cut, it's a nine inch piece that can go here. And if I do that, I measured, I'm gonna end up pretty much 99% accuracy that I'm gonna end up with a full piece here and then half piece above it and so forth. But I don't wanna take a chance on when I'm here and putting the last piece to have a, a small gap, like whatever quarter of an inch. So instead of after I put the three piece here on the wall, I'm not gonna put the nine inch here. I'm gonna start with full here knowing that when I get there, the nine piece can fit perfectly or I have, or I need to shave a bit from it or I have to cut another one that's nine and an eight, nine and a quarter, something like that. Just looking at it, you'll see that that piece and that piece are gonna kind of form together a full piece that was cut because of the corner. These two pieces here are gonna be smaller than a full tile. They're gonna be smaller in height anyway because this here is about three inches. The tile is four inches. So I have to cut one inch from the, you know, from the whole top of the tile here, something like that. I cut that out and then from this I'm gonna just shave a bit from here half an inch and this tile is gonna go from the center there and I'm gonna cut the other one there and that's gonna go there and then full tile here full tile here so then when they go up it's full tile going that way half full half something like that and here too so that's the plan for this particular backsplash anything else you do Anything, any other way you start and do it, it's gonna, something's gonna be off. You have to do your own homework for your own backsplash, for your own size tile. It's all done and installed. We have full tile going from the window that way. This is full, that's half. We have the same here, full tile going that way, half, full. We have four pieces of tile here. That's the grout line we were talking about earlier. So this piece of tile and the other one were cut here, both of them a bit short. So four pieces of tile that normally make 48 inches would fit within 47, almost 47. We ended with full and half there. So this is full, full, half. And that is full, half, about there. Uh, we have like a quarter of an inch to the end of the countertop there, but we managed to achieve the pattern that we wanted. Full from here, full from there, full from here, and the pattern continues. So, so this piece of tile together with that, make a full tile. Same here, same there. And then at the very end here, guess what? Full tile full tile, half and full. Of course, I started from here and went that way, knowing that when I reach here, this piece of tile will be within 99% accurate of being the leftover from that, the same size. So yeah, that's, that's it. And up there, there's a gap between cabinets and the wall. So I left with the last row of tile, the fourth one, I left it go up. So I didn't cut it like here or here, the metal piece here, all this is just one piece. It's bent in the corner. I chose to bend it. Some of them you can do this and avoid cutting them and uh, having a, a little bit of an uglier corner. Another one here, that's how it looks. And this is the end or the beginning of the backsplash, another piece of jolly trim. Here we have about a quarter of an inch that had to be done this way. So we have full tile, full half, and to avoid any little pieces of tile anywhere. And then these here, these are gonna be covered by a piece of marble, granite, something we're gonna put here, a a one piece which is about 47 long by five and a half wide then grout tomorrow and um, putting back all the covers outlets everything and that's how this job was done hope this helps you and good luck with your backsplash mm -hmm.